Well, yesterday the masses flocked to the shops for the annual post-Christmas Day sales, spending a record-breaking $2.36 billion in just 24 hours. Incredible, isn't it? Mm. New South Wales bark and hunters spent the most, clocking up $771 million in sales. That is $30 million more than last year. Today, we're going to reveal how you can scoop up the best deals and what are your rights? Uh, well, for more on this, we're joined by our consumer affairs commentator, Joe Uchukolo. Uh, good morning, Joe. Hi, Great Joe. to have you with us as always. Um, now, retailers have had uh, sales year round to stay competitive. So how much more can we save with these post-Christmas sales? These sales, we're still looking at around 40 to 50% off the full price. So we, we were thinking maybe we'd see a bit more sales due to the introduction of Amazon, but we're still sitting at around what it usually is, 40 to 50%. Mm -hmm. OK, so if it's not 40 to 50%, maybe we shouldn't go for it because that's what we should be looking for, right? We yeah, can get 25% that... off any old time. That's right, but okay. interestingly, retailers earn about half of their money during the December and January sales. So now is definitely a good time to Ooh, buy. Well, okay. What I often think, Joe, when I see people busting through the doors at six o'clock, I think, what are you so desperate to be buying? So what are people snapping up? Look, right now um, we are seeing electronics being very fashionable and also wearable technology. So we've seen quite a few um, new items come out this year. So it might be a, a smart watch or a fitness tracker um, and also fashion. Because fashion is very seasonable, uh, people try to get a great deal, particularly on leather or designer exclusive wear, this time of year when they can, they can save some dollars. OK, here's the thing. In store or shop from the comfort of your lounge room online? Great question, Kylie. So what most people don't realise is a lot of the retailers still operate separately. If you go in store, you'll have one experience and online another experience. So you will see different discounts, different items available. So what I recommend is have a look online, maybe take a few photos or screenshots or write down the details of what you, you could buy online, but then go in store and see if you can get something different, perhaps a different colour, or but know that you can always go back online and order if you see a better deal online. And also don't forget about click and collect. So this is where you can shop online but then save on the postage and the hassles by collecting it in store. So you won't need to, you know, hunt around with all the bargain hunters and still get a great deal. Right, but I guess when you're going to these sales, the, the whole price matching thing goes out the window. Is it harder to haggle? Oh, look, it's definitely worth haggling. It does get a little bit a little bit harder to get the attention of the salesperson, but they're very motivated to clear the stock, particularly when it's on sale. That's the whole point. So definitely ask for price matching. Ask for a reduction. Ask if you buy a few, will you get a good deal? Like, ask these questions and see what extra you can save or get something thrown in. Now's a really good time of year to, to maximise your dollars. OK, Joe. what are our rights, though, when it comes to sales? Because so often we see, and, and particularly in the smaller, say, clothing shops, no refunds on sale items. Are they allowed to say that? Now, that is actually illegal for those for people to display those signs. So if you see them, point them out and say you're not allowed to display that sign. And why that is, is it doesn't matter whether you've purchased the item on sale or at a reduced price, it still needs to do what it should do, um, which means that you can still get a refund if it's faulty. So those are the reasons why those signs are, are illegal. But bear in mind that to refund or return a product, you will have time limits if it's an ordinary return. So it's best to sort of, you know, do do the right thing, keep the packaging intact if you can, and and get back to the store. So is it okay for them to say, all right, no refund for change of mind on sale items? So if it's got a broken zipper, they've got to they've got to exchange it anyway. But what if I just change my mind? Yes, Th that's. So they're, they're within their rights? They're within their rights. Okay. No store has to offer you a refund for a change of mind. It, that's something that they do out of goodwill, but it's good to check the policies. And even if they say they won't do it and you really do want to want to switch mm -hmm. it over, just ask them nicely. The best thing you can do to sales staff at this time of year is be nice, <laughs> be <Yeah>. patient. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, and is that the same for online? Like, is it easy, just as easy to exchange things online as it is in store? It should be, no. yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you have to send it back, back right? Whoever packs it back up and sends it back. John? Yeah, so because you, you, if you buy it online, you can't then go into the store and or can you? 
You can. Oh, okay. So, it, so this is why it really pays to have a look at, at how easy it'll be to return or exchange items. But some of the big department stores are offering you to be able to buy it online and then return it in store. Obviously, some stores that are only online, you need to package it and send it back. But, uh, you know, statistics are saying that around half of people who receive gifts this year either receive unwanted items or items that are faulty that do need to be returned. So returns are a big thing this year. OK, so tips for surviving the stress of sales, except for, of course, stay home and don't go. That would be my number one tip. Well, I think you've probably got some better <laughs> ones than that. Well, OK, first thing is label all your receipts. Know which receipt you're bringing back because if you have a receipt, it makes it a lot easier. Go within the time period of what the, what the retailer, it might be as short as one week or as long as 30 days. So go within that time period and be polite and be patient. And right now is a really good time to take your unwanted gift in and swap it over with something else so that you're maximising you know, the sale, the on-sale bargains and your motivations to go in and have a look for something else. Thanks, Joe. Great tips and very timely. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.